Hi YouTube, it's Chris, K2CJB. Welcome back to the channel. And I want to start off with a question. How many of you are using one of these? A little USB adapter that you plug into your cigarette lighter. Well, we used to call them cigarette lighters. Your power port in your car. You use it to charge your phone or your iPad, whatever it is while you're traveling. And if you've got a radio in your car, this is a source of RF interference. And I found this out the hard way. I was driving in my truck the other day and I had my 707 on. I was scanning around two meters and it kept stopping on 146.52 with a signal sitting there. I figured, well, I'm in a densely populated area. When I get away from here, it'll go away. Well, I drove for 20 minutes. It didn't go away. So I noticed it did go away when I moved my USB charger cable away from the radio. Not, it was just a coincidence I happened to move it and it stopped the problem. Uh, a couple of days later, I was driving on I-95. I had the CB on and I went to charge my phone. When I plugged it in, the noise level on the CB went up significantly. So I'm gonna demonstrate that today. We're gonna to look at it with a spectrum analyzer and we're gonna try two or three different devices and see what happens. So first we're gonna demstrate what happens with the radio. So here's, a, here's my CB, I had it on. I gotta set the channel two, which is not really used at all around here. And right now I've got, I'm using a very inexpensive, yes, I'm a New York Islanders fan, a very inexpensive USB charger plugged into the power port on the dashboard. Um, and the cable is going to my iPad which I will use as my device under test since I'm using the phone to record this video. So, I want you to listen to the CB. I'm going to unplug it. I'll plug the iPad back in. So you can see that this USB device is a source of noise. Now let's take a look at it with a spectrum analyzer. So bring the spectrum analyzer over. And I'm centered on 100 megahertz and I'm now going to oh, I'm sorry no I'm centered on 50 megahertz I'm now going to plug in the iPad now watch look at all that unplug it and it goes away so there's a significant amount of RF energy being generated when you plug an iPad or an iPhone or any USB device in using one of these so we're gonna try a different one and see what happens okay so I have a different USB uh, power port, power adapter plugged into the power port in the car. Too many ports and power things we're talking about here. All right, I'm gonna plug in the iPad again. There's the noise. But if we look at the spectrum analyzer, it looks a little cleaner, doesn't it? See, it's a, it's a little bit cleaner with this particular uh, adapter. I'm gonna plug it in again. See, it doesn't break the squelch quite as much, right? Okay, now let's try a third one. Now here's an older one that I had, it had two ports on it. And uh, here we go, we're gonna plug in the iPad again. No noise, look at that, it's very quiet. And we look at the spectrum analyzer, we will see there is some noise, there's some pulses that come in, but uh, it's not wiping out a radio. So that one, is very quiet. Now you might be wondering what if we put like some sort of ferrites on it or something like that to choke the RF on, on the power signal. I tried that uh, and I'm not going to bore you with that. I did try them. I snapped them on both ends um, of the cable. No change. No change. So my guess is, and look, I don't know a whole lot about these things. I'm going to assume that there's some sort of a switching power supply inside the little USB adapter and Look, the ones you get at the, uh, the counter at 7-Eleven or your local convenience store for two bucks are not engineered with RF shielding in mind. Uh, this other one that I happen to have is an older one. Maybe they made them a little better back then. But um, anyway, it was very interesting. I wanted to share it. And I also want to open up the discussion. Let's talk about this. You know, use the comments below. Have you encountered this? What have you done to mitigate the RF noise that you may have been getting into your radio? This also interferes with the uh, FM radio too. I was listening to, to the stereo and... You know, all of a sudden I'm not picking up stations I can normally pick up. And it was because I was charging my phone. So use the comments below. Let's talk about this a little bit. If this is the first time you came across this, my channel, um, and you like what you're seeing so far, and you check out some other videos, so hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit all that stuff, hit the bell so you see when I put more videos up. But this one, I definitely want to get a conversation going. So use the comments below. Let me know if you've seen this before and what you've done to mitigate it, or maybe you haven't seen it before, and you're going to go out and try to see if you can find a better quality USB port adapter, whatever they call them. <laughs> so there you go. That's my observation. So uh, 73, and let's talk about it.